everybody. It's Grayson. Okay, Grayson, now. Hi. Nice job. Hi. Okay, you want to put... Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show you how to make four different types of buttercream icing. This video has been heavily requested. I get tons of questions from you all about the different icings, how to make them, what they're used for. So hopefully this video breaks it down for you and is going to give you a great recipe for each one depending on what you want to use. When you go to the grocery store and you get those little pre-made icings in the baking aisle, they're not great for decorating. They're kind of sloppy. They taste great, but the functionality is a zero. The four buttercreams I'm going to show you how to make today are American buttercream, Swiss buttercream, Italian buttercream, and French buttercream. I also think this is kind of in order of difficulty. <laughs> as we go along, I will tell you what the pros and cons are of each icing as we're making these and what they're commonly used for. The do in front of me, I have all the ingredients we'll need to make American buttercream icing, and I'll be putting all of the ingredients and their measurements down below below in the description. So if you want to make this at home, you can. We've got two teaspoons of vanilla extract, fourth a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of heavy cream, four sticks, 16 ounces, or one pound of unsalted butter, and seven cups of powdered sugar. Fun fact, American buttercream is the sweetest of all the buttercreams. For example, this recipe has seven cups of powdered sugar compared to a Swiss buttercream, only two cups. I am using a stand mixer just to make my life easier, but you can make this with no equipment. You can even make this with an electric hand mixer or do it by hand. I've done it by hand before. It takes a little extra work, but what I love about this recipe is that you don't need any equipment if you don't have any you can still make it. Another thing I love about American buttercream is it's one of the easiest recipes to substitute. Say if you want to make a vegan buttercream because instead of the butter, you can use a vegan butter or you can use a shortening. There's just a lot of things that you can do here. It's very versatile. So I love it. I love it for the structure. I love that it's easy to make. I love that you can substitute it. The thing I don't love the con is probably that there's so much sugar in it. It's really sweet. There's a reason people love American buttercream. Okay, let me show you how to make it. In a stand mixer fitted with a paddle attachment, beat the unsalted butter on medium speed for 30 seconds. Mix in the vanilla extract and salt on a low speed. Then slowly add in the powdered sugar while mixing slowly on the lowest setting. Halfway through, add in the heavy cream or milk to make it easier to mix. Keep mixing on low until the ingredients are fully incorporated and the desired consistency is reached. This usually takes about two to three minutes. ta -da! There you have it, American buttercream. We're all done, ready to use. That's how simple it is. All right, so I'm gonna pipe a cake and a cupcake to kind of show you the structure and talk about it as we go. Let's take a scoop of it here so you can really see this. Look at that nice and thick. The buttercream just sitting here for a few minutes is already starting to crust. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's kind of, you have your finger, this is a good example. I can tap it and it's not very sticky. It's pretty easy to work with and I prefer it when I'm making structured cakes. Just scoop them into a piping bag with a big open star tip at the end. I'm going to show you what it looks like to just pipe on top of a cupcake and you'll see what I'm talking about structure wise. There you have it, an American buttercream iced cupcake. If you're familiar with my Russian piping tip videos where I'm testing them all out, I use American buttercream this recipe. So this is the recipe that I recommend that you do. Now let's ice a cake with American buttercream. In front of me I got a little turntable, make things easier, and a little cake plate. I'm going to use the rest of this and put a little dollop. And I'm not gonna level the cakes. Usually if I'm doing a cake for a party or stuff, I'm gonna level it. But this one, eh, I don't want to. All right, I'm just gonna pipe a little bit here, a little thinner in the middle. And this one we flip upside down. This is a really moist cake. This is like giving me Twinkie vibes. To ice the cake, I like to start at the bottom. This is just a nice way to evenly get icing all over the cake. And then using a spatula, I'll smooth it out. Okay, we gotta work fast. It's gonna start crusting. You're gonna take your offset spatula, I like to eh, smooth out the top just a little bit to get it going, and then I move to the sides, and then I'll finish on the top as well. Oh, whoa, 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 we're moving around here. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot. This is not a Swiss buttercream. So for this, you can take a damp or wet paper towel, put it here to create a little tension, or look at this little glue. Okay, all right. Using an offset spatula, you're just gonna gently put pressure all the way around and keep spinning around until it gets as smooth as you'd like. 
Oh yeah, it's moving. It's still moving, so I'm gonna have to use a damp paper towel. It's so sturdy, I can't even ice it on this turntable. Okay, there we go. This is also one of the characteristics about American buttercream because it is so thick. I have a much easier time smoothing a Swiss buttercream icing for a cake than an American buttercream. It's really pliable. I mean, it's very forgiving. You can make corrections, you can fix things. That's something I really love about this one. But it's no time to dilly-dally, you gotta work a little quick because the crust, as soon as that starts, it can work against you. One of the benefits about using American buttercream and it developing a crust is that once it fully crusts, you can take a little piece of parchment paper, place it on the top, and gently smooth, and it's gonna make all these little imperfections boop go away. Here's a pro tip you guys, if you're having a wedding, it's in the summer, it's outside, don't call a bakery and say, hey, I'd love my wedding cake to be iced in all Swiss icing. That's gonna just, one word, melt. American buttercream is what you'd want to ice your outdoor summer wedding cake in. A good alternative if you want an iced wedding cake versus a fondant one, you could do American buttercream on the outside and then on the inside, you could do Swiss buttercream between the cake layers. <laughs> then you get the best of both worlds. You get all icing and it won't melt. All right, that does it for American buttercream icing. Now let's move on to Swiss buttercream, my favorite. <laughs> Swiss buttercream in general compared to American buttercream takes a little bit more effort and time, but it is worth it because you can taste it and the texture on your tongue. It is so good, you guys. There's a reason it's my favorite. When I go to a restaurant and I see that there's a slice of cake on the menu for dessert made with Swiss buttercream, I'm ordering it every time because I know how much love goes into making it. It has the same amount of butter as American buttercream, but for this one, I use two cups of powdered sugar, so it's less sweet, but it has this beautiful, perfect balance. It's almost like silky in your mouth. If you haven't tried Swiss buttercream in your life, what are you waiting for? I also love pairing it with a sweet cake if you have a sweet cake recipe because it kind of counteracts how sweet the cake is. I love sweets, I have a sweet tooth, but for me personally, when I have a really sweet cake and a really sweet buttercream, it just kind of overloads my palate and my mouth and then I can't really enjoy it. It's just too much of a good thing, basically. <laughs> the Swiss buttercream is a nice medium difficulty. It's not as easy as the American buttercream, but it isn't as finicky as the Italian or French buttercream. The ingredients you'll need to make Swiss buttercream, four sticks, 16 ounces, or one pound of unsalted butter, five egg whites, one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a fourth a teaspoon of cream of tartare. The equipment you'll need, stand mixer, a thermometer, and a double boiler, which is over here on the stove, and it's just a saucepan with about an inch of water at the bottom and a heat-safe bowl. To make Swiss buttercream, you start on the stove with the double boiler, so let's take our ingredients and head over there. Fill a medium saucepan with one inch of water and bring to a simmer. In a medium heat-proof bowl, whisk together the egg whites, granulated sugar, powdered sugar, and cream of tartare until combined. This is where the love comes in. You gotta keep whisking until the mixture reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This process of whisking over the heat usually takes me about five to eight minutes. Once it reaches 160 degrees, remove from the heat and pour the mixture into a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment and beat on a high speed until the mixture cools to room temperature. Usually takes anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Next, on a low speed, add the butter one tablespoon at a time. That's why I've cubed it before so it's locked and loaded, ready to go, just tossing them in. Once all the butter's incorporated, you're gonna add your vanilla extract and continue mixing until smooth. And to do, there you have it, homemade Swiss buttercream. As you can see, it's much more smooth and soft and shiny. All right, so let's take a scoop here, and the texture is just oh, softer. You can see a little bit more jiggle when you wiggle. It almost reminds me of the refrigerated whip topping. Let's scoop up this little slice of cloud heaven, put it into a piping bag, and again, I'm gonna pipe a cupcake and a cake to show you the differences. A big difference between the American buttercream and the Swiss buttercream is 
is the ingredient of egg whites. American buttercream doesn't use any eggs and the Swiss does and it just gives us that fluffiness from the meringue. It's also a little bit more tricky to substitute like if you wanted to make it vegan because you can substitute eggs. There are egg substitutes and I've tried them all but with this icing it's it's just hard to duplicate. Again I've got the Swiss buttercream in a piping bag with the same star tip at the end, the big open star tip. I've iced it the same way I did the American buttercream, big swirl and as you can see you get all those little details. It's a little bit more shiny because of our meringue. Structurally this could can do pretty well but not in the heat. Even though it's holding its shape it has a little bit more movement blah, 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 blah. and it doesn't develop a crust. So you can always you know put sprinkles on it or add little garnishes. You don't need to be in a hurry. Again I got a turntable and a cake plate for a little bit more control and a damp paper towel right here just to hold the cake plate in position. Put a little bit in the middle. We're gonna stick on our yummy cake. We're gonna ice around. Oh my gosh. Also because it's less dense it's easier on the hands when you're piping it you don't have to put as much pressure flip your top cake upside down pep, 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 pep. once again I'm gonna ice the cake to show you what it looks like I like to start at the bottom Woo! a little air bubble fart something I love about Swiss buttercream is because it doesn't develop that crust you can ice these super smooth like flawlessly smooth. Now I'm just taking an offset spatula, spinning the turntable around and round until this cake gets really smooth. We can get it even smoother. The great thing about this, you can pop it in the refrigerator once it's chilled, take it out again, give it one more smoothing, and I mean flawless. <gasps> Ooh, so smooth and silky. I haven't even smoothed it a second time. This is just my first pass at it, and it is so much more seamless than the American butter cream. With Swiss buttercream you can really taste the love and by love I mean the effort into making it. You're hand whisking eggs for like eight minutes over a double boiler. That is love. That is just dedication and I feel like I can taste it in this recipe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Next, let's move on to Italian buttercream. In front of me, I have the ingredients for Italian buttercream icing. Comparing it to the other two icings we've made so far, I would say it's the most similar to Swiss buttercream, only it has more structure. It could actually probably hold up in the heat a little bit better, but also because it's more dense, it's less fluffy. But taste-wise, I find it very similar to Swiss buttercream. It's got the same ingredients, and just going about making it is a little trickier to me. Equipment you'll need to make Italian buttercream, stand mixer, medium saucepan, and a candy thermometer. Here I've got cubed three sticks or 12 ounces of butter, four egg whites, one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of water, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one eighth a teaspoon of salt. Let the finickiness commence! Starting with our egg whites. You're gonna pour all your egg whites into the stand mixer with a whisk attachment. This is really important. Now, we're not gonna start mixing. We've just got it in the bowl ready to go. We're gonna lock and load it because we're gonna make a sugar syrup and as soon as it's ready, we're gonna take it off the heat and slowly start pouring it into the egg whites. And now we're gonna take our sugar and water over to the stove into the saucepan. Combine your sugar and water together in a medium-sized saucepan and bring to a boil. Then insert your candy thermometer. Continue boiling the mixture without stirring until the thermometer reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, you guys, this is so cute. My little nephew came over. Grayson, come say hi to everybody. It's Grayson. Okay, Grayson, now. Hi. Yeah, nice job! Okay, you want to put... Okay, we're going to crack this egg and we're going to crack this egg and there's an egg inside. Oh, right on. Let's see what's inside. Okay, you want to crack it? Yeah, crack it open. Little chef. It's another egg. Oh, <gasps> Egg within the egg? What? Okay, let's put it back. Are you done with your recipe? Yes. Yeah, good job. Give me a high five. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I one cheese. Oh, this is not a cheese. This is actually a butter. <laughs> oh. oh. It's good, isn't it? Mmm, mm, that's butter. We're all gonna make rainbow cupcakes. Oh, what's that? That rainbow icing? What do you think of that, dude? I can eat it. 
Yeah, you. I mean, yeah, you can eat it. Mom, is it okay? Can you have a bite? Okay, you take one big bite. Oh, wow, how's that? Oh, 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 two bites. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, three bites. Oh, 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 four bites. Oh, gosh, Grayson, that's a, a you're an icing dude. Mm. Let me show you another different butter thing. Okay? Thank uh, you. Swiss. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let me get you uh, a little spoon. Thank you. Try Swiss. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. Do you want to try Swiss or no? Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. This is Swiss buttercream. It's softer and fluffier. What do you think? Okay, that's a win. That's a win. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, yeah, we don't need any more of that. Which icing do you like more? Do you like the first one, American, the taste, or do you like Swiss? Swiss. Well, same, dude. Same. What are we related? What are we related? Yes, dude. Okay. Okay, all done. Yes. Thanks for coming on. Do you want to say bye to everybody? No. Okay. Do you want to say, um... No. Do you want to say, um, I have a double egg? I have a double egg. Yeah, you got a double egg. Hey, please, uh, I want, I can bake with you. You want to bake with me? I would love that. Or if we need this butter. Okay. When we're going to put this butter. And here. Put the, yep, yes, Chef. What else? We're gonna turn it turn, on. Turn this on, okay? And then bake. And then bake. We will cupcake. One more ingredient. Wait, wait, wait. We forgot one ingredient, everybody. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got it. Got the ingredient. We're, now we're Take ready to bake. Take off the sticker. Take off the sticker. <laughs> now what? We need a cupcake. Cut it? Yeah. Okay. Well, this video is different now, and that's okay. Okay. That's okay. You gotta be really careful. There you go. There you go. See, this is in there. The lime. Ooh, yummy, huh? And now we need to put this in there. In the mixer? Yes. Put it in there. Okay, okay. Well, that's this is a, this, Grayson, I'm not sure this is how to make an Italian buttercream, but you know what, this is something. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Next, remove limes from your egg white mixture and don't tell Grayson. Also, we'll be fine with just a little less butter. When your syrup reaches 235 degrees, reduce the speed of your mixer to low and drizzle in your hot syrup. This part is what makes it finicky. You wanna do this immediately and try to drizzle the sugar between the whisk attachment and the side of the bowl to prevent the syrup from splashing all over. You also don't wanna pour it too quickly or you're gonna get these kind of big globs of sugar. Once all the sugar syrup is incorporated, you're gonna increase Increase the speed on the mixer back to high and whip until very stiff peaks form. Then remove the meringue once it has reached stiff peaks and place in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Once your meringue is completely cool, you can whip in your butter, salt, and vanilla extract until the buttercream is light and fluffy. And there you have it, homemade Italian buttercream icing. Not only ingredients wise, but looks wise, it looks just like Swiss buttercream to me. I couldn't tell the difference in a lineup. I can only tell when you scoop it. It's so much thicker. It's like if you suck some air at a Swiss buttercream. And just like Swiss buttercream, it doesn't develop a crust. All right, let's scoop it into a piping bag and, oh, oh, oh! All right, let's scoop into a piping bag and we'll ice a cupcake and a cake. <gasps> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at that, give it a little wiggle test. Not as much jiggle when we wiggle. Next up, we're gonna ice a cake using the Italian buttercream. Gonna put a little bloop. You guys, it is so similar to Swiss buttercream, but it's a little bit more dense and a little less sweet. All in all, it smooths and feels the same as Swiss, but it will be much sturdier. It's gonna withstand temperature a little better. It's gonna hold up outside refrigeration a little bit better. Cupcake and cake is iced in Italian buttercream, and all in all, very similar to Swiss, but more structurally sound, holds up in heat a little bit better, and is a little less sweet. It's a great option for stacking or icing cakes. All right, now let's make our last buttercream, French buttercream. <laughs> 
In front of me, I have the ingredients for French buttercream icing. I would say that this icing is the most similar to Italian icing. There's a few differences. One being Italian icing uses egg whites and the French use egg yolks. So it's also gonna have a little bit more yellow coloring. And out of all the buttercreams, there's less sugar. So it will be the least sweet because there's less sugar, more butter, and the richness from the yolks. You can really taste the butter more. Mm. Ingredients are four sticks, 16 ounces or one pound of unsalted butter, six egg yolks. We have two measurements of granulated sugar. The smaller one, which we're gonna be adding to our yolks, is a one fourth cup. And the second measurement, which is larger, is three fourths cup of granulated sugar, which we're gonna be mixing with the water in the saucepan to again make a sugar syrup. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and an eighth a teaspoon of salt. First step to making French buttercream very similar to the Italian buttercream, we're gonna place our eggs and sugar, the smaller measurement of sugar, into our stand mixer. Again, there's gonna be a whisk attachment. That's what you want. Pour in, whoop, it's got all those yolks, whoop, whoop, whoop. And the sugar, we wanna have this ready to go. We've got the yolks, the sugar in the bowl. Now we're gonna add that little bit of salt. Salt is salty and I'm gonna get this locked, loaded, ready to go. Now take your larger measurement of sugar and water over to the stove to make our sugar syrup. Combine the water and the granulated sugar in a medium-sized saucepan. Cook the sugar syrup on medium-high heat, stirring until the sugar is melted. Once the syrup begins to boil, do not stir the syrup. Just let it sit there and allow it to cook to 235 or about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. For you baking nerds, this is the softball stage. You'll know what I'm talking about. While the syrup is boiling, start the stand mixer on a medium speed. Whip those yolks together until the yolks are pale and yellow. As soon as the syrup on the stove reaches 235 degrees, remove the pan from the heat. With the mixer running on medium low, pour the hot syrup in a steady stream between the edge of the bowl and the whisk. Again, this is the finicky part. You don't wanna to pour too quickly. You'll get big kind of clumps of sugar. Increase the speed to medium high and continue whisking the yolks until they're cooled to about room temperature. This usually takes about 15 minutes. When the yolks reach room temperature, mixtures running on a medium speed, add the butter chunks one piece at a time. Then add the vanilla and increase the speed to medium high and whip until the buttercream comes together, which only takes about five minutes. There you have it, homemade French buttercream icing. Looks wise, it's shiny, just like our Swiss and Italian buttercream, but you can see it has this beautiful yellow color because of those egg yolks. Little bit more dense than the Italian buttercream. Taste wise, it's also the least sweet. It is the richest buttery flavor. Like if you love butter popcorn, this may be your favorite icing. Let's take a scoop. Oh, wow. It's like whipped butter, you know? It's denser than the Italian buttercream, but still so soft. Also, same as the Swiss and the Italian icing, the French does not crust. Now let's ice a little cupcake and cake. Woo! She's soft. Oh, it moves. This can slide anywhere. Okay, we gotta be a little careful with this one. But you still see all the detail. It's shiny and soft, and you just have to be a little careful. We've got our turntable, our cake plate, a little damp cloth. Let's give it a go. It's almost like if buttercream and pastry cream had a baby. So if you guys have ever tasted pastry cream, kind of similar. Wow, this is so soft. Oh my goodness. Here we go. That might be too much. Using the offset spatula to smooth this out, you can just feel how soft it is. Ooh, literally smooth like butter. That's, I feel like that's where the saying comes from. We've got the cupcake and cake iced and French buttercream. If you serve the cake right now, fresh, it would look great. But if you leave it out, the buttercream is so soft that it would start to do this. That's how soft it is. But the good news is with French buttercream to get it this smooth, very easy. You barely have to apply pressure with an offset spatula. It isn't the best for intricate designs and things because it's so soft, but I really love this for in-between layers of cake or even cupcakes. 
And the do, there you have it. Here are the four buttercream icings that we made today. I hope you guys found this video super helpful. I love doing it. This was so much fun. We've got the whole buttercream family here and the cakes that we iced and their matching little cupcakes. They all have different pros, cons, different properties, and I love talking about them with you guys today. We made American buttercream, Swiss buttercream, Italian buttercream, and French buttercream. For all that work, it's time for a little taste test. So let's start with the American buttercream over here. So I'm gonna take a little taste. Oh, mmm! It's so creamy and so sweet. Oh my gosh, it's almost sweeter than ice cream. All right, now moving on to Swiss buttercream. <laughs> look how soft it is. Look, just, just, just look at that. What is this marshmallow fluff? Oh my god. The texture is a cloud. These just, these evaporate, so I feel like these calories aren't real. It is the most balanced for me because I get a little bit of that sweetness, but I can taste that butter. All right, moving on to Italian. Look at this, how soft. <laughs> mm. It's so smooth. It's like a denser Swiss. All in all, pretty good. And a little less sweet than the Swiss, which is why I think why I prefer the Swiss still a little bit. Now last, but definitely not least, our finickiest buttercream. <laughs> the least amount of structure, the softest, and the least sweet. Here we go, here we go. It's so rich, it has the most flavor. What's interesting about the French buttercream, taste-wise, I don't even mind that it isn't as sweet because it has so much additional flavor. It's rich, it tastes perfect the way it is. All right, that does it for the video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other baking basics that you'd like me to go over because this was really fun. I love this. And hopefully we'll get another surprise visit from my little nephew. He's just too cute. I love him so much. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Okay, you can come with me.